This video is just going to show a different version of the John Bedini window motor. This version here uses a mechanical commutator. It's purely mechanical. There's no reed switch. There's no hall sensor. It's just some copper. So by doing this, you allow very high voltages to pass without the risk of actually burning anything up. The disadvantage is the timing is not as advanced. It's not as high tech, but it can handle a lot of power. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually powering the motor with a capacitor. The capacitor is being fed with a radiant charger that I built right here. And the power is adjustable. And normally, if you power any type of switched motor with a directly fed capacitor, with no battery, it will ruin the commutator. And normally the commutator is just a reed switch or a hall sensor. They can't handle a lot of power. And if you try to feed high voltage from a capacitor to any type of switch, the switch will burn out. It's just not designed for a capacitor. Batteries are different. Capacitors can ruin things. And the unique thing about this design by going with the very crude mechanical switching is you eliminate any problems of it burning out. It'll keep running and running uh, until mechanical failure occurs, which takes a long time. So I'll go ahead and start this up and I'll show you how much uh, power is actually coming out of this capacitor. There's about 400 volts at peak. So we'll turn the power supply on. Just supplying 12 volts into the radiant charger just supplying up to 400 volts here. It's going to be less since we're taking a load off of it. And we'll start the motor. As soon as the contacts engage here, the motor will start. We'll start it at low power. Not a lot of sparks. As you turn the power up, Then you really start sending the power to the mechanical commutator. And if this was a reed switch, the reed switch would quickly burn up. And I have tried it, and reed switches last about five seconds with this much power coming directly from a capacitor. This is very high voltage, uh, between two and 400 volts. And I don't want to hook the oscilloscope up to it right now because it does ruin the oscilloscope. Uh, to have all this radiant energy sparking like that you can actually transfer to the oscilloscope and ruin it. Turn the power back down. And you can actually hear the sparks going away. So that's just a different way of making the uh, window motor run. By doing this you can power it with a very high voltage capacitor which allows you to do interesting things. One thing you can do is introduce a spark gap. We have a spark gap here. Uh, the voltage is not quite high enough uh, to have a real spark gap, but this microwave transformer, sorry, this microwave capacitor will handle 21,000 volts. So with this you could power it to much higher voltage and then you could utilize the spark gap and you could run this motor Edwin Gray style with high voltage so just wanted to make this video to give you some ideas